from the fishtails and we just wanted to actually review the place where we've been staying for the last several months um we've actually when did we move in was it mm -hmm. it's uh <laughs> I can't think. it's august 25th today and i'm pretty sure we moved in was it july maybe 15th or something like that somewhere around there some yeah. i'm you know We've been in this thing for like over a month now. Is <laughs> we have all COVID I know. brain from having COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both had COVID a couple weeks ago. So <clears throat> that's why it's been kind of radio silence lately. But anyway, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about this place. So we are in Diamond Hill RV Resort or RV Park. Park. Mm -hmm. Not resort. Uh, do I need my keys? Nope, I got them. Can you grab my phone for me? Sure. Am I being recorded? Yep, you were. <laughs> Where is your phone? Over there on the. Uh. There you go. Thank you. Can you lock up? I will lock up. Cool. Coop, what do you think? Coop thinks we're going. Bean? What do you think, Bean? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hold fast, girl. Hold fast. <clears throat> All right, Lily. We'll go. Uh, we'll go all around because we're gonna. Well, we go this way around the park. Okay, we can do that. So gravel road, obviously. We get really pretty sunsets out here. But we got pretty views of the hills there. You can see the freeway over there, not too far away. But you know, to be completely honest, we don't even hear it inside our rig because no, it's so well it. insulated. We don't hear a thing in there, which is nice. Uh, so as far as the specs on the place, I think there's like 92 sites or something like that. Ooh. Every Excuse single me. site in here is 100% full time. There are no sites for daily or weekly travelers. Uh, there are other places around that have lots of that kind of stuff. Premier RV Resort, which is down in Eugene, just to the south of us, uh, would be a great place to, for you to stop if you don't have a place to stay and you're gonna stay for only one or, one or two days. Uh, if you have a rig the size of ours, you should definitely call ahead because they may not have a big rig site for you. Um, let's see, so, this place, we got into this place because my uh, my stepdad, his sister owns this place. Mm -hmm. If if it hadn't been for Bart and Kelly, I don't think we would have gotten in here. We would have probably had to have moved out of the area because there was literally nothing. In fact, when I called a couple of places, they literally <laughs> they, laughed they at laughed. me. Yeah. And said, yeah, like, good luck finding something. Because in the time we wanted to be out of our house in July, the big like world yeah there was a world track, track event, that event was happening going in on eugene. in eugene and then we also had iron man going on in salem which is about 45 minutes to an hour from here which meant everything within an hour of here was completely booked out full 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 full, full. yeah and that was on top of the normal <laughs> summer stuff that goes mm -hmm. on around here so we have quite a bit of summer stuff that goes i'm going to turn this tv off because i can actually see it reflecting in my glasses <laughs> anyway um so uh yeah the site it's the site itself the place itself it's pretty um Basic. minimal you know <laughs> it's gravel everywhere the sites are level though and uh they they put new gravel in periodically to keep everything good the speed limit in here is five miles per wow. hour because they want to keep the dust i down. go 10 because if i go five i'm never going anywhere yeah you're literally going I'm walking literally speed like... <laughs> <laughs> moving very slowly and i feel like i'm not moving at all and it's really annoying so i go about 10. <laughs> you're a i know eater. nobody stopped me so. nobody stopped her yet anyway. there are a lot of ducks around here but you cannot feed them no feeding the ducks <laughs> they're they're uh purely uh waterfowl that they live literally a couple hundred yards and away. there's probably close to 200 of them and we see them on a daily basis Sometimes you hear them squawking outside your door. Sometimes Gary comes by. Gary, there's a duck we call Gary. 
Um, it's probably a different duck every time, but they probably all look the same is. to us. Yeah, <laughs> ducks are ducks to us. And they do have babies, <laughs> and we see the babies frequently with their moms, and they're super cute. The babies are cute, yeah. The Absolutely cute. adorable, but you cannot feed them, and they are protected. Okay, Lily. So we got our trash cans right over there. Sites are pretty good sized. I mean, you can see our rig here. Smart car pulls the big rig. Pretty good job, huh? No. The, uh, you know, they're decently wide, not too bad. Everybody around here is super quiet, so we don't really hear our neighbors at all, ever, which is kind of nice. Well, he's twisting me up, so I'm spinning you around here. <laughs> all gravel surfaces everywhere. And uh, just past that fence right there, it's kind of this is kind of the dog run area, but it's not like gated in or anything. So everybody, the dogs have to be on loose. Hey, 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 hey! She's about to get out of there. Oh my gosh! Can you help her? How did you manage that? She was pulling so hard, she got herself out of her leash. There's the. Uh, little place where they have the washers and dryers and bathrooms. We haven't actually been into the bathrooms because we've got our own bathroom. We don't need to do that. And then over here, there's more full timers. Pretty much every site in here is a full time site. There are no nightlies or weeklies. It's only only for people to stay in and live in at this time. And we feel fortunate that we were able to get in here because there was nothing else in Eugene. So these sites are really nice and big. Um, but most of the people that live here own their spot. So some people don't, some people rent them, but uh, it's more like a mobile home in a sense. They're paying space rent or they own the spot. So pretty nice. And it's like uh, $4 for well, a wash. Uh, it's $2, $2 for a yeah, wash. Sorry. Well, 2 or two fifteen, depending on which machine you use. I use the $2, $2 one because yeah. it accommodates my stuff fine. And then the dryers, it's every time you put a quarter in, it adds more time to it. So I just put enough quarters in there so that I get about 45 minutes. And it usually ended up being $1.50 to $1.75. So usually when I did my laundry, it was about $3.75 here approximately to yeah, do my laundry. Which is, which is fine. Yeah. You see that corgi butt? <laughs> There's nothing quite like a corgi butt. And then let's see, what else? Um, so there, <laughs> there is overflow parking over there, mm -hmm. which is great because we need it. So the site that we have, um, our rig's 44 feet long. We probably have about four or five feet behind us. So not enough to lay down the the back um, well it's really dusty patio. here yeah so we didn't want to because if we opened up that back patio all the dust from the gravel and we have um literally There's hay fields, fields all around us direction. and when the yeah. when the farmers are plowing their hay fields it is dusty there's clouds of dust that come through the rv park so it is filthy dusty here so i was like there's no way i'm opening up that back door yeah, so that exactly. i can clean out the whole RV every single day. Yeah, right. We've already are thinking when we get to our new RV park, we're going to have to hire someone to come out here and clean the rig and we're going to have to go clean our car really well because it's so dusty out here. So the place is on well water and the well water is not great. No. Um, Stinky. <laughs> well, so we have that issue right now, which we'll be, be showing in another video where Something you get, bacteria. You or get something. a bacteria that starts to develop in your hot water heater, and then it makes all of your water smell like, like sulfur. sulfur. It's disgusting. And it is vile as hell. So we have not ever since. Well, we started at first using the water. Both of our stomachs got upset. Our dog's stomach dogs got upset. So then issues. we started filtering it in the fridge, and then the dogs were still having some issues. So we've actually been buying bottled water. Yeah. So. We just upgraded, and I will show you in the video. We just upgraded to, where is that thing? It's right here. We just upgraded to Clear 2.0, mm -hmm. uh, the pre-filter and the carbon filter. 
and that will probably make a huge difference but we still have the bacteria in the tank so we have not fixed that just yet so, so that'll be in the next <laughs> that'll be in the next video uh us us fixing our issue with hydrogen with our noses plugged because it yeah. really stinks it's probably gonna be pretty <laughs> awful when i empty out that hot water tank but uh anyway all that to say that uh the water's not great it's super dusty you cannot mm -hmm. wash your rig more no. than twice a year because again they're on well, well water, water and so they don't want you using up all their well water to uh wash your rig all the time which makes sense because mm -hmm. you'd wash it and like the next day it'd be filthy again oh yeah um and then you also can't wash your cars at all so they basically say go into town use we've a car been wash. taking our car into town and using the car wash in town i mean i could do a, a hand spray job on it but again <coughs> i'd be like doing the front and the back would already be dirty again <coughs> so it's just kind of like ridiculous um They got propane here. They've got a dump station right next to the propane. They've got all the recycling and everything that you can imagine. And a bright sun hitting us. And bright sun. <laughs> it's about to go down. So this is kind of kind of what to expect here. Got a couple rows similar to that, like three rows basically. <laughs> this, these are all pull throughs right here in this row, and then this next one is like double deep. So I don't think there's any pull throughs really because there's people on both sides. You're kind of out in the sticks, so if you want to go on a bike ride, you're basically got highways in every direction. But we have so, a beautiful view of the mountains, and I really enjoy that. With the sun behind it, you get some pretty the awesome, Hills, yeah, yeah, you get some and pretty then, awesome uh, sunsets. sunsets over here. So, which has been really fun to see. I really enjoy opening up my door and looking out and seeing those beautiful Cobra Hills. That's so really been nice. We are 19 minutes to Eugene from here, so we're close enough to get there pretty quick. And it's been good because for a while, Christy was actually commuting to work. Mm -hmm. She commuted to work for almost a month. Oh, over and a month. No, it would have been exactly a month, but then you got COVID, oh, so you lost yeah. the last week. I lost the last anyway, week, so, which was a bummer because I was really looking forward to being able to have a party with my coworkers and friends and say goodbye to everybody. But unfortunately, I woke up the weekend before my last week with sinus pressure and just not feeling great. And then it just went downhill from there. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, checking out the review. As far as Nugget goes... Where is Nugget? He's up in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. You want to go get him? I'll go get him. So as far as Nugget goes, uh, what do you think? Is it Nugget approved? <laughs> maybe... Uh, maybe Nugget gives it like three stars or something. <laughs> Two, I mean, you know... We're just super happy to have been able to get in here Not at all. And as far as a place to live <laughs> for, a, for a month and a half, it's totally fine. It's been fine. And when I first saw the place, I was a little sketched out. Like I was like, man, I better not ever leave a bike out or I better not ever leave anything good out or anything like that. I know like it says, I give it three stars. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. He doesn't have any really fingers, so. Yeah, he does. He's, three. <laughs> three. He's got three <laughs> fingers. He gives it three fingers. Um, It just looks like a paw. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks, guys. And uh, we will be seeing you soon with the cleaning out of our stinky, stinky, stinky. Yeah, we're really looking forward to cleaning it out. Not really looking forward to cleaning that process. I'm really looking, looking forward, forward looking to not forward taking a shower. To not in egg yeah, smell. Yeah, taking a shower or washing our hands or doing our dishes without egg smell. Oh, man. Rotten egg smell. When you try to run hot water, Ugh. and because it's coming out of there, you know, if you try to run hot water and I'm in the sink area, I will start gagging. It's pretty it is strong. awful. It is so We, we had no so idea bad. that you could get that. And we we're like researching it all going, how do we get rid of the smell? Because it's bad. So anyway, thanks guys. Have a wonderful night. Nugget says, Mwah!